Truck and bus drivers, health workers, teachers and social activists took to the streets to mark 75 years since the founding of the Peronist movement. They mostly stayed in their vehicles wearing masks to respect measures to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. It was also a demonstration of support for the government's handling of the crisis. I believe that the strength being shown by this government, by the president and his team, will be enough to solve the situation which is very, very complicated. Thousands more people participated on a specially created online site. It was the first major show of support for President Fernandez since he took office last December, when he was immediately faced with a debt crisis. Then followed the coronavirus. We've got to support the president to defend our rights. That's what his government is doing, and defending health and education and work. Today is important because we're all Peronistas, because we're loyal to Peron and Evita and the people. Evita is the one who will free us from the oppression of the previous government. President Fernandez is also a Peronist governing on the populist, though sometimes divisive, principles inspired by the former president and military officer, Juan Perón, and his flamboyant second wife, known as Evita, more than 60 years ago. Saturday's protest was an illustration of that division, countering the frequent and growing opposition rallies against the government's handling of both the economy and the pandemic. Marches and street rallies are a fundamental part of Argentine political life. This one has been adapted to take into account the measures to fight COVID-19, but it's no less passionate and noisy than in previous years. The president rounded off the day with a speech at the trade union headquarters, calling on Argentines to work together to overcome the country's problems. We are born from the love of Perón and Evita. We feel the love of the people. Here there is no hate or bitterness. Here what we have is the desire to raise Argentina once and for all. The pandemic continues to wreak havoc in Argentina. 25,000 people dead, more than 900,000 infected. With businesses closing and unemployment and homelessness rising, the COVID-19 virus is also highlighting stark historic divisions. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.